thing to say. And so you can never really get the truth. I wanted to have an opportunity to speak with Apollo personally to clear my name. They've even come here today lying. So I don't have to defend myself why, any longer with people be known, why that would you have do a conversation with the three of us? Because you're truth. a sneaky, trifling slut. I don't have a need to continue the conversation because I don't think that it's in their interest to tell the truth. Speaking of the truth, I mean, oh, she's I, ending the conversation. I want to know when what, I ended the conversation the one that the came last year <laughs> and said, "Well, why well, are you texting me?" He says me? that you were together in L.A. and you say you never saw each other in L.A. So one of you is lying. That's Somebody's not lying. lying. That's the truth. We've seen. But I know I got a text message from this lady the other day saying she felt bad because she's been that on the stage taunting me. That's a bold-faced lie. You texted me last week, really? two weeks ago, Not from a number, year. and you told me, <clears throat> I'll just let you see the text. Yeah, I'm stupid said, enough to send saying? you a text. You He's a criminal. He can make up anything. I'm a I mean, criminal. I'm Am I a criminal? So I have a criminal I'm, past. I'm but what are you? He wants to sit You're nobody. To you didn't even have no money. See, I should have produced your... Video when I first met now you, we're, I should have around because I'm not going to sit here and now we need security. Security's here. Nobody's, leaving their, yeah. Nobody's that leaving their couch. Nobody's leaving their couch. Is that Billy Manor for somebody to beat you have my no friend credit. to a pole? You have okay? no credit. It's not going to happen. You have no credit. Get your um, life together. Oh, you might have not, some now because of me. <laughs> Allison from San Francisco says, "Do you realize how clear it is that you initiate the conversations with Apollo? You were the only woman to show up for cigars and manage to get him alone." She needs a storyline, so she keeps re-bringing it up. This happened in 2012. It's 2014 now, and she's still trying to use it because she has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around, running around, talking about my husband and my, the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try to find a donor. Honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an ax murderer or a child molester, because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza, so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now, check that. Um, Phaedra, do you believe Apollo 100% in this situation? Yeah, I believe him. Everything she has done has been underhanded and sneaky from day one since I've met her. From the day she met me and my husband, she was hitting on him. What kind of whore does that? And I should have slapped the dog out of her that day, but I was trying to be a friend to her. Christina from Long Island said, Kenya, if the situation were reversed, would you like any of the ladies flirting with your husband? We can clearly see you want a piece of the Apollo. I'm not going to dignify that question with an answer. She can't dignify because she doesn't have a man. I'm done with rolling around in the mud with pigs. Does that mean you're leaving the show? You should get your, nail, your toenails done because they're dirty. Nini, did you think that it was inappropriate for these two to, to get together? Absolutely. Just... Only a woman with a character flaw would do such a thing. Candy, um, Phaedra is your closest buddy on the show. How does that affect your relationship with Kenya? Oh, well, it does make things really weird. I don't think you've used great judgment with a lot of the things that has happened. You know what I mean? The texts were not cool. Just none of it. Honestly, Candy, it does not have a lot to do with you. I've always respected you, whatever our relationship is. I just hope you remain neutral. And that is what I appreciate about you. She, was, she wanted to do everything me, she can I and get in Candy's so ear I, and break your friendship um, up. That's why she's sitting over there by Cynthia. Yeah. Okay. I'm not trying to fight yeah. with you. And I'm I, just I really don't want to talk about it anymore. Of course she well, does. we want to talk about it. Of course she doesn't want to talk about it. We want to, but we can talk about Marlo, though. Really and we should go back and forth about that. I do appreciate you trying to be 
Nini, you were you were just saying that you think that Kenya is trying to get in the middle of their friendship. She is. That's what she does and does well. She wants to try to oh, Candy, and you're not buying. I know you're sticking up for your friend. And Candy, you and I, we can sit down and talk because she wants to try to get in Candy and try to break up their friendship. I've That's what she's trying to do. To That's what she really wants to do. Way. She wants to get close to Candy and, say and that hope that exactly. she gets getting next to you. I know that's what and paranoid schizophrenic thing, but that's not what Candy is saying. And that's why she ran and got the Carlos. That's what she does, and I hope she does. She can get right on in. I ain't got no problem with it. Bye bye.